Hey there, it's Big Tony over here at Natchi, coming at you with a little beacon rush action. We are on Dead City. Uh, we're continuing on into the first part of June here with my, let's see how many tails we can kick today. <laughs> we're going out and just, uh, I'm using my alpha hanger, my primary hanger, and uh, just going out to destroy things. Uh, I am resource grinding, uh, getting ready for uh, the next update, and that's kind of what I do here uh, for uh, getting ready for like next month's uh, gameplay challenges and stuff like that. Making my videos, it's, I gotta grind out a lot of resources. So usually I start out at the end of a month and into the first part of the next month grinding out a lot of resources so I can upgrade bots, new weapons, new titans, uh, so I can get that gameplay footage for you guys. So we're going to start off today with, of course, one of my best resource getters now, which is the Raptor with Athos and Aramis. Let's go ahead and chew this guy up. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. That was Band of Brothers. I wanted to get him out of here. I'll take the assist, but really? I'm starting to get, you know, I really like this whole assist business. When it, another assist. I really liked it when it first came out, but it's really become annoying. Uh, a lot of these should have been kills, but someone just happens to get a tap in one second before me, but I get the majority of the damage and the kill, but it gives me the assist. So that to me, right there, really? I get the assist on that even though I did the, the majority of the brawling right there. Don't mean to gripe and complain about it, but honestly, it, sometimes it just, it's a little bit uh, on, uh, you know, on the old sense of sanity some days. Okay, let's see if we can't pick out some isolated targets here, and let's get some kills. I've had my assists, now I want to blow some things up. So, of course, I get just absolutely hammered by an arachnos nonetheless. Okay. This is not as tough as the Raptor, but this thing will go out and uh, kick a little tail here. So let's bring out the Porthos equipped Ravana. Let's do the Ravana dance, and let's uh, go ahead and start by coming uh, after uh, Mr. I think that's Eddie, I think that is. Yes, Eddie. We're going to get rid of him. Him and his silly, silly uh, uh, invader right there. It's an Arachnos one. I'm guessing probably pick that up. I only see those really now except on the special deals that you can get, the MK2 deals that you get in the shop. So I'm guessing that's, so this, guy, this guy may have had it since the beginning, who knows. But that's where I've been seeing a lot of those popping up at. Okay, let's give this guy a little love right here. Now for you guys who are, you know, new, new to this whole War Robots business, if you want to get MK2 bots and want to invest just a little pocket change, there are some fantastic pocket change deals that uh, can be found at the, uh, the in-game shop. I would check it out, because that's where you're going to get some great weapons, some great bots, and you're not going to have to spend as much as you would if you're grinding it out. Of course, it's a little bit of cash, but you know there's nothing wrong with spending a little bit of cash on the game, as long as uh, you do it within reason and within a budget. At least that's my opinion. Now, this guy here is an annoying... You're, you're just out of here, dude. Finally got him out of there. The Invader is a beastie, beastie bot, guys. I mean, if you want a tank, that is a good bot to have on your hanger. All right, let's go ahead and work on this guy over here. Uh, for you guys who've seen at the beginning of my videos, I do uh, I post my big, uh, my code, Big Tony Nat G. That uh, code word is for over at the War Robot Shop, and there's a link in the description of this video that'll take you there. Use my code. Uh, if you buy D-Gems or any other resources there, and I get a little bit of kickback from uh, the shop there, and that gives me some extra resources to build better hangers to give you guys some more gameplay. I, I turn around and reinvest it into the game. So let's go ahead. Power Werewolf. Okay. Now, of course, this is my ultimate Fenrir. Now, I have been hearing rumors, nothing confirmed, no dates, but there is going to be a second round of being able to go after the Ultimate Fenrir. And I'd be guessing, and maybe around the 4th of July event, we'll see. Um, who knows? Like I said, it's just rumors I'm hearing at this point. But boy, I would love to grind out a second Ultimate Fenrir for my account. And for you guys who didn't get the Ultimate Fenrir the first time around, wouldn't be a bad idea to get one then, because boy, it's been a long time since this came up uh, for grabs. And I tell you, it has been one of the most potent and powerful Champion League bots I've added to my hangar, period. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this Fenrir right here. 
give him a little love. And boom, there's the rampage. And we got, oh, we got, no, 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 no. We're going to get you out of here. Now, the Ultimate Fenrir is one of the few bots that you can sit there and pound on a leech while it's leeched onto you. Many bots you do that, you take so much repulsor damage that it really wipes you out. But this thing here is so tough, damage resistance is so high, that I can sit there and slug it out with a leech in full engagement and there's no problem with it. Alright, at least no problem with me. There's a problem with him, his bot is now in the dirt. So, let's go ahead and take their uh, home beacon here. We got, uh, yep, we got a curry, which is, that's a beastie build. It's a subduer curry, which I gotta, I gotta get him off the battlefield first because he's gonna restrict my healing ability with those subduers. So, we gotta get rid of that. And we're gonna chew him up. I'm stay just, I'm starting to just drift back a little bit. I'm gonna have to do some concealment cover work, maybe. Wait for the reload. And yeah, that's Loki from Band of Brothers. That's a tough clan. I mean, seriously, a tough clan. So let's uh, give him a little love here and boom, get rid of him. And let's uh, get rid of the Titan here as well. Destroy that Indra, put it into the ground where it belongs. Okay, Loki. Okay, someone's coming back angry. We'll deal with him in a second. Let's go ahead and we got out up there. We got, and we got ourselves a scorpion here. And he's got teleport back. Okay, I got a fully loaded up set of weapons. So let's go ahead and lock in on Loki. And we're going to chew him to pieces if we can. Come on, come on, come on, come on over here. Eventually, you know, he will have, he's charged up his uh, repair amplifiers, but that damage defense he gets with that does abate after time. So he will be squishier here in a minute. And yeah, he's kind of boogied out of the air. He knows that these weapons I have chew through all defense systems anyhow. And it, this is a Titan killer. This truly is. And it's going to be a scorpion killer because boy oh he destroyed himself oh he was annoying me i wanted to take him out uh we're getting plenty of kills though so let's go ahead and push it back out here. oh there we go big old behemoth of course i need to reload let's go ahead and use the uh let's use the mothership the avalon now i have not got one of those brand new turrets one of the advanced aegis turrets i'm just not willing to risk my upgrade coins to spin to get that in the lucky crate draw. So the lucky, whatever you want to call it, the lucky draw. As I've known some people who said they've tested it out and they've spent like 20, 30 of their upgrade tokens before they got it. I'm just not willing to risk it. I'm just not, I, there's so many more things I can spend my resources on than that. I don't like gambling for a turret. I'll wait for it to come into, you know, at some point it'll come into the game as a purchasable item, I'll just buy it. Okay, let's go ahead and work on him down here. Come on, come on, come on, a few rounds, and ba-boom! <laughs> Slaughter! Okay, this is, this is a brutal match, guys. This will be definitely going onto my uh, brutal playlist. And that's something over on the channel, you guys. Uh, check it out. There's Loki. There he is, there he is again. Now, let's give him some love. Okay, he's got my attention. We've got the majority of the beacons. Let's chew on him a bit. But if you guys haven't checked it out, check out my brutal playlist. I've got some of my highest kill count matches put together into a single list, and they are they are brutal. I mean, seriously, it's it's vicious. All right, let's go ahead and give this guy a little love now. Oh, of course, I'm just oh, just out of ammo. A few last rounds, and now we gotta wait for the reload. And he's just we're just gonna kind of exchange beacons here. Um, this is I mean the power bar is just so it's look at we're just a little bit less than them. This is gonna be this is gonna be a tight match. We only got a minute left. This is gonna come down to the nubs. This is gonna come down to the very, very end. I don't know who's gonna take this. But let's get him out of here. Come on, come on. Oh, you went airborne healed up at the last second. Oh, you dirty, dirty dog. It looks like I'm the last guy left on the battlefield, so. Uh yep, I think we've that, that will probably cost me the victory. My team botted out on me. And that happens. I mean, seriously, it happens. Okay, no, okay, a Titan. Let's give you a little love, Eddie. And come on, come on, come on, and ba-boom, you're out of here. And, oh, we got two, we got one back. We got one guy back, and he's capping a beacon. That's it, buddy, you run for it. Got a little bit of ammo. Oh, just not enough to take him down. Gosh darn it. Got to wait for the reload. Let's go ahead. He didn't get the beacon over here. That's good. But I want to get him out of here. If anything, before this ends, I want to take this guy off the battlefield. Let's go ahead and get him, and ba-boom, Titan Slayer, sweet! 
And we got, yeah, that's an Ophian. He's taking off here. Ten seconds. I'm going to run for it, but I might get a few shots on him. But I think that's going to be about it. Yeah, I definitely am the last man standing again. Um, pounder. Brutal match, guys. Big damage. I know this was a big damage match, and I didn't even drop a Titan. So let's go ahead and take a, a quick look here at the uh, tail of the tapes. Let's go ahead and drag my camera down here just a little bit. Okay, there we go. 20 million, 20.9 million in damages. Wow. And no Titan involved. Um, and we got 17 kills here. Wow. That was a brutal match. <laughs> All right, guys. Definitely adding it to the brutality playlist. All right, guys. Uh, I give you guys a challenge, guys. Subscribe to the channel. That's our that's our drive for the week, guys. If I challenged you guys, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. Uh, if not, no biggie. Whatever. Um, <laughs> time to bail out of here. Stay safe and healthy. Watch out for each other. And guys, I'll catch you on the battlefield.